Alright swimmers, I hope you've been having heaps of fun practicing all those breaststroke drills from the last video. This time around, I'm going to jump in the bath and show you some ways to practice some songs that we normally sing in our lessons and working on some water pouring and some cueing for our little ones. Also some ways to work on our freestyle and backstroke and also our core strength too. Just making sure that if we do have some fun in the bath, never leave anyone unsupervised even if it is just to go and grab a towel we're always watching when we're in the bath having fun it's gonna go over our face that's my cat's tail before we do anything that's gonna go over Bob's face or our kid's face we're gonna be making sure that they're recognizing that cue so when we're coming up one two three under these guys are gonna be closing their eyes and getting ready for that water to be poured over them. So we're not gonna be doing any water to go over their face at least they're ready. They're showing us that they're ready by closing their eyes. So we're gonna do the one, two, three, ready, under. If you're happy and you know it, switch your hand. If you're happy and you know it, switch your hand. If you're happy and you know it and you really wanna show it. If you're happy and you know it, switch your hand. If you're happy and you know it. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. I had a tiny turtle, his name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water and gobbled up the soap. Oh, no. And now my little turtle has some bubbles in his throat. <gasps> this is the way we kick Duffy, kick Duffy, kick Duffy. This is the way. <laughs> Thomas, move your tail. This is the way we kick Duffy in the swimming pool. Like that sausage is sizzling in the pan. One went pop and the other went bang. because I was showed you some songs to be singing in the bath and ways to practice some cueing and now I'm going to show you some out of pool dry land activities to practice swimming too. Have fun! A really fun and sort of messy way to practice blowing some bubbles is to grab a little bit of milk and a straw. Big breath in. Told you it gets messy. Another way to practice blowing some bubbles and some breath control without even being in the bath or with the milk is to hum a song. So you're going to close your mouth and hum your favourite tune. <laughs> so one thing that we can be doing is practicing working on our core strength by doing some core strength exercises. Jump down on a carpet or grab your yoga mat and come outside in the sun and do it. So our core strength is going to be really helping with our balance and it's going to help us go faster. So an easy one to be doing is to come down and jump into a plank. And you're going to see how long you can hold your plank for. The next one that you can do is come in on your hands and knees and go opposite arm, opposite leg. Opposite arm, opposite leg. While we're here, we can also come down and lie on our back. Bring our toes up and practice our Bruce Strick kick. Open and close. We can also practice at home by jumping in front of a mirror and practicing doing some freestyle arms. So we want to have our big windmill arms coming up. And when we're up here, we want to have a little bend in our elbow. This is going to make sure that we come up and stretch out so we grab all the water that we can so we pull it all the way through. We also stand in front of the mirror and practice our backstroke. Really seeing if we can look at our finish sweep here and seeing how high we can stretch up and back. Finish sweep up, back, finish sweep. 